Hi, hello. Um, I would like to talk about uh, pectin in this uh, presentation. Pectin can be uh, classified uh, based on the degree of esterification. Uh, so we have high methoxyl pectin with um, the degree of esterification or DE uh, above uh, 50% or low methoxyl pectin with DE uh, below uh, 50%. Uh, pectin can also uh, be classified um, based on the, the rate of gelation, how fast the pectin form a gel. So um, based on this classification, pectin can be classified as a high um, um, sorry, as a rapid set pectin or medium set or slow set pectin. So in this picture, uh, you can see here, this is actually an example of a product we can prepare uh, by using pectin. In this case, this, uh, this product is called uh, marmalade. And um, the difference between marmalade and the ordinary jam, you can see in, in the product here, um, we can see uh, there is um, a suspended, uh, actually it contains uh, citrus peel uh, suspended uh, in, 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 the, in, the, in the product. So for, to make this type of uh, product, uh, we need a special type of uh, pectin. So I, I, I want you to discuss um, what type of pectin is suitable in terms of whether it's a rapid set, whether it's a medium set, or whether it's a slow set uh, pectin. And the reason why we choose a particular type of pectin to produce uh, this product. Um, the next product that we have here is also a jam, but this is actually a low sugar jam or a low calorie jam. Um, so I want you to uh, find out and discuss what type of jam suitable to produce this type of uh, product. Uh, is it uh, high uh, methoxyl pectin with high degree of uh, esterification or is it low methoxyl pectin? And discuss the reason why we use this type or we choose this type of uh, pectin for this product. 